we set the awareness level to reach our, our goal because they form our reality. When, when it's always diagnosed with the blind disease, many so come to his mind. He know the blindness will throw his brain. He imagined he would be a person and alone. But he fought with those lies, fear, and, and then and they actually his reality is older because he did not let he didn't let those those figures take control over his reality. He said, I live with eyes open, it's a discipline, it can be so in practice. So civilian of you civilian of the thing that scare you, that means live wise open. In conclusion, it's is a demonstrator of the enemy is not outside, it's inside color figure. In our reality depends on every decision where we take in what we say and the secret is confronted. For example, if we within our mind we see ourselves as poor people, it's, it's impossible it's impossible for us to pro prosper econ economically. The rest of do what we do. If per each person is completely free to read us he or she wants from what 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 it. So the most interesting part of the video, I think the most interesting part of the video was when he said five parts about him and nobody believed that he was by plain blind person because the stereotype that we have a blind person was completely different. It said inspired me to never give it up, even I become an incapacity person. He's a really good promoter. Question. So the first one is, do you consider user have a vision? Why? Mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself having a vision? What? A vision. Vision. A vision. A vision. Or a vision. Yeah. Of course. Do you treat the question? Mm -hmm. So, do you think you have a vision? Vision. Vision. You're like a. Look, the look at vision. Oh, yeah. No, no, the way you you say the thing, like a if a you vision? have a, a goal, a vision like a goal, like a future for yourself. I think that every every <laughs> single of us have one, because that's why we're here, because we have goals. We want a better future. We want to be someone in life. That's what I think. No. Okay. Next no, no, no. Stay on that question. Guys, come on. Participate. Do you have a vision for your life? We've talked about this.
What did you say? I can't hear you. Oh, You're whispering. Okay. Oh, I think I will be, uh, I am here so for a reason, so I think I will be successful. Mm -hmm. Obstacles. Obstacles, yeah. And then you kind of find, just like she said, you find sometimes you wonder if you really want to be what you vision when you were a kid. Like, for example, if you wanted to be a flight attendant, and the requirement is like very hard. And sometimes you just have like, because of rules, you asking yourself, am I going to reach my goal or something like that? That's why you always wonder if you see time. Like it, like if it is really worth it. Yeah. Why do you think true? Because it's not easy. And you put all your effort in something. Sometimes you think like it doesn't work or you don't make it. So you have a question. It is really worth it. Do am I here because I want to or because I'm forcing myself or this is really what I want? It used to happen all the time. But that doesn't also take off the fact that sometimes you want something, but that you were meant to be that person. For example, some people would like, whatever my sister, she wanted to be a nurse so bad. But when she started going to go to nursing school, she found out that she wasn't meant to be a nurse because everything, the, the requirement to be a, um, everything to be a nurse was hard for her, and then she ended up being a therapist because that is where she found the passion. Uh, uh, passion. passion. Passion, yeah, that's how it is. So I guess sometimes it didn't change. But. So, what is important to have an addiction? Um, you need to. Um, you need to consider um, what you want to be and care about you, yourself and, um, and be positive for the time so you can go forward without any problem and just help yourself being nice, being creative, inside and inside. Make sure that you reach your goal, so you accomplish that thing. Yeah, and accomplish it. I think it's important because that's why we're here in you know, America. That's why we're living in the world. Life doesn't make sense. It's even the life is strange. Even our parents have vision for us. <laughs> Maybe your parents' vision and your vision is not exactly the same, mm -hmm. right? Do you think the reality of older may affect yours? Why? The reality of 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 the
Do you think that your circumstances in life can ever dictate what your reality is or what you'll become? Yes. 
some circumstances to not to affect the operation. But there was something that happened now, like that we were that we didn't even think about it. We never had thought that it would happen, that it happened, and that's still the, the reality of our lives. I mean, think about what you want to be, what you want to do with your life, and how heavily your environment influenced your choices, right? We're products of our environment, right? Everything that happens around us and our surroundings influences how we feel about things or what we see for ourselves, right? If you grow up in a family where maybe uh, your for example, your mom didn't go to college, or your mom doesn't have a job, and your dad uh, works in like a, like a blue collar job, like he works from 9 to 5 or 11 p.m. to 6 a.m., doing whatever he needs to do to make sure that the family is kept well. Those are you know, positions in life that you're used to, and maybe those influence what you see for yourself. Maybe that you say, okay, well, the most important thing for me is getting food on the table for my family. I don't have to be a doctor. I don't have to be, you know, a, a famous singer. As long as I'm working, like I can be a mailman or I can be, you know, a, um, a gas station attendant. It doesn't matter, right? As long as my family has food on the table. Mm -hmm. So maybe if that's what you're growing up with as your model, that's what you see as your reality. That's what you see for yourself. But then, alternatively, if you have a mom who's a doctor and a dad who's an engineer, you're probably not looking at your life and thinking, it's just a matter of getting food on the table for my family. It's a matter of becoming successful in you know, an important field in my career is first. Okay, so those are two different realities. So unless your family, in the first scenario that I described, is saying you can do more than what we did, you know, you're maybe not thinking that way. So I think it maybe is a mix of both. You guys have heard of um, nature versus nurture. Nature, your nature, what's normal for you, your instinct, versus how the environment or how the people in your environment have treated you. You're a product of both of those things. Just a thought. That's all the words I have for today. Mm -hmm. So, any questions? How do you pursue your dream? I think I work in hard, so sometimes my reality is not good because, you know, sometimes I want to be better, but I realize and I said, if I want a good future, again, I have like a vision. Sometimes I visualize, I visualize my yeah. future, mm -hmm. how I want to be, if I want to have a good we first, mm -hmm, I want to be, so, but I think the reality of over doesn't affect my reality, so I believe I, I am the creator of my reality. So when you think about Elizabeth and Sam, like, if somebody is close to you, no, I don't know, those, those things affect me. Uh, you can be sad, but sorry, you are sad, I'm happy. Because I'm, I'm not sad if you are sad, so those things affect me. So no, if you see the wrong side, then you're going to be sad. You can say sad, Sorry, Mom. <laughs> so, yeah. You're sad, I'm not yeah. sad. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's my inner problem. <laughs> Her problem and my problem are different. So if she has that, I don't I don't to don't demonstrate to her I'm happy, but inside my heart, I know that. You know, I'm honest, so. <laughs> no, but good honest is good. We don't, we don't fault you. <laughs> It's your own problem, kids. Figure it out. Yeah, I don't have kids, so, so you'll be better at changing the future. So, um, when my the the grandmother of my mom, when she died, 
everybody was crying. I, I didn't cry because <laughs> I have feelings. I have feelings, but it was, I, it was it's like we believe you. We believe you have feelings. Mother, grandma. Oh, your mother's grandmother. So, so your great grandmother. Your great grandmother. Your great grandmother. So I didn't cry. So I, I was. I wasn't like, ha ha. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was a serious moment, you know. But I didn't. I didn't feel sad. I know she died, you know, but she she was old, That's very nice. very old. So I was like, mm. like people people react very differently to yeah. death. Yeah. Even I think you know I've had people die close, not super close, not in my immediate family, but people react differently. Death is a way of life, right? So I mean, we all die. We're all going to die. And I say, okay, everybody's going to die, so... Well, especially if they're old, right? If it's your great-grandmother and she's 90, it's like, oh, well, she's had a good life. But I think it's more tragic and it impacts us more when there's someone like, you know, yeah, your guess. age. You're like, yeah. whoa, right? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. We don't think you're heartless. We know you have feelings. <laughs> Sometimes I feel the same way. defense mechanism, right? That's how, she, like, it's, that's how she defends herself and her feelings. You know, she just became hard. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Interesting. Anyone else? Any questions? So, I'm done. You're done. Yeah. Okay. Good job. A plus.